Hello, my crafty friends. Well, this is another one of my 100 things videos. And I'm going to show you things 31 through 33. And then we're going to make 34 together. And what we're going to make is we're going to turn this envelope into a journal cover. Um, but what I want to show you first is um, some yarn that I've spun. And um, it's funny because this shows... Um, I have never done this before. I haven't measured the yardage before I finished it with by washing it and after it's washed and dried. But I did that this time. And I usually just measure it afterwards, after it's been washed and dried. Um, and I this time I actually weighed the fiber before I spun it. And then I weighed it after I spun it when I had... Um, some a little bit of one bobbin left that I threw away and it weighed 3.88 ounces before I sp spun it and 3.74 after I spun it so I lost a little bit um, of because I had a single that messed up and um, anyway it doesn't matter there was there was a little bit of change there in what it weighed so this weighs 3.74 ounces before I washed it and finished it, it was 700, approximately, 711 yards long. And the way I measured that, was I laid it out like this, and then I measured it from right here to right here. And I did that laying on a table, and before I washed it, it was 32 inches long. After I washed it, it was 31 inches long. And I had um, over 400. It was like 405 or something like that. So I'll just say 400 um, wraps in here. Okay. And I multiplied that by, um, when it was 32, I multiplied it by 64. And when it was 31, I multiplied it by 62. And um, that came out to 711 yards spun but not finished and 688 yards after it had been washed. So it shrank, basically this skein shrank two inches when I washed it, which means this yarn puffed up a little bit. And so my wraps per inch, I didn't do wraps per inch before I washed it. I wish I had now. But my wraps per inch after washing it are tw is 25 wraps per inch. So um, that was really interesting to me how much difference it made. I knew it made a difference, but I didn't realize how much difference it made when you wash it. When you use it for weaving, you don't have to wash it before, um, before you use it like you do if you're knitting or crocheting. But um, in fact, some people like to, to do it without washing it because they say it puts more energy into their um, into their uh, woven piece. But anyway, I just thought I would share that bit of information on how much the skein shrunk um, just by washing it. So anyway, there's that. And I really, I, had, I enjoyed um, spinning this. This is the same kind. It's uh, just a different colorway from the dark green one that I spun. And that one, I had, um, I weighed it before. I didn't weigh it afterwards. So I don't know what it weighed um, after I spun it. That was something I should have done but didn't do then. But I got 450 plus meters out of it because I wound it off on my Nitty Naughty, which um, is about 41 inches makes a skein about 41 inches long or this skein was about 41 inches anyway um it turned out to be 18 wraps per inch and 450 plus meters of a two ply whereas this one same kind of fiber just a different color um my two ply was 25 wraps per inch and i got 688 yards out of a little bit less fiber and it just shows the difference between um, 
the two, you know, I spun this one a lot finer, even though they don't look that much different. Um, there is a difference. Anyway, I just thought that stuff was interesting. I hope you find it interesting. If you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, I wanted, so I wanted to show you that. And then I wanted to also show you this. This is some Corydale um, wool that I dyed with um, turmeric. Hannah was wanting to do some natural dyeing, so I was showing her how to do some natural dyeing. And I dyed this wool with turmeric. It's a very, very bright yellow. Um, but this, this is just a regular wool. It's um, kind of a me medium soft wool. The um, Hannah was using superwash wool, which is um, it's very different from this, and it took the dye different, the turmeric different too. Hers is a lot more um, took up, you know, different more in some places and less in other places. Um, of course, she also had her fiber more crowded. I had mine in a big pot and she had hers in a small bowl. And this one we did in the microwave because it was super wash and we knew we, we wouldn't ruin it. <laughs> so we did it in the microwave. So her wool is, um, this is 32, her wool is number 33. But I'm going to show you the rest of it too. Um, but anyway, these were both done with turmeric. Both, um, both used the same mordant. In fact, I did mine after we did hers, and I just put this in the leftover mordant water for all of her, that all of her wool was mordant in. Um, but this is what her um, turmeric colored uh, superwash merino. Superwash merino has been treated; it's been processed more than regular merino, so that they um, they strip off what makes it felt those little crimpy things that make it felt and so it's um it's ultra ultra soft and it doesn't felt which is marvelous um it is kind of silky feeling and it's a little slicker to spin it doesn't cling to itself you know like these wolves do um i wanted to show you something else we also did used avocado dye for this wool and this was a very bright white um, when it started out. Her avocado came out a completely different color from mine. And I, let me get mine out and show you the difference. Um, and the difference is partly the wool. I, I think it's partly the wool. But it's partly that mine, um, mine I did with vinegar. And hers we did with an alum mordant. And it looked like hers was going to be darker than this one, but it wasn't. And part of that is the superwash. Um, you ha it takes more dye. But she also had, um, you know, a different mordant. So we don't know for sure. Um, anyway, it was a little sad that it came out so much lighter. She likes it anyway. She's happy with it. But... Um, but we were hoping it would turn out, you know, kind of like this one, and it didn't. Um, there's, you know, quite a bit of difference. It's also a different batch of avocado uh, water, and, you know, different times you do it, it turns out different. And then um, we also, let me put this up. We also dyed, this is Superwash 2. We dyed this with acid dyes, and um, and we just used what was an olive green, and it was pretty packed in the pot, so you can see it's kind of mottled, um, which will mean her yarn will not be a solid color. It will have some variations in it, which is nice. She's already split it in half, so she can make two skeins out of it, but, um, I mean, you know, do a two-ply, so I'm not going to continue to unwind it but I thought it turned out really really pretty um, but she's going to weave these three 
together into, um, I think she wants to make a bag um, out of her woven fabric, but she's going to use these two mainly and then just pops of this to add um, some something bright in the weave. So that will be an interesting project for her to work on. This is the first time she's, she's kind of seen me do it, but she hasn't ever actually wanted it done for herself or to do it herself. So it was fun to, um, to share that project with her. So there's 31 through 33. And um, it's amazing how much stuff is still in wool even after it's been washed and dyed and washed again. <laughs> um, anyway, this was an envelope that a sketchbook Hannah bought came in. And I thought it would be fun to turn it into a journal cover. It's very, very nice, sturdy paper. Um, and it could be used just to store stuff probably pretty easily. But I decided I wanted it to be a journal, journal cover. And... Um, so I'm going to do that today. I'm not sure exactly. I do know I'm going to take this off on both sides. I haven't really thought that much about how I'm going to do it, so I just knew I was going to. So I'm going to kind of um, just do it all right here with y'all. I. I want to have the the creases that I'm going to use pretty obvious before we start messing with it. Um, now I went ahead and kind of bent this um, kind of halfway in the middle of where it was supposed to be so that it would um, you'll see now it's maybe that's not a good idea. It wants to do this, and I don't really want it to do that, but if I go all the way down, it's too, it goes too far. But I think it'll be more stable if I do it like this. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim. I'm going to take this off. Well, maybe not. We'll just leave it there for now. But you can see how these are. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Now that I'm not looking at wool anymore, I didn't realize how far out I was. Um, these are close together if it's all the way down. But I can... Um, you know, I can just go around it. Well, let's see. I thought there might be a way to do it and just use keep this rubber band. Well, I guess I could do it like that. Um, anyway, may end up changing that. I don't know. I could just trim it off in there and then use a cord. I think that's what I'll do. That way it'll be out of my way when I'm decorating. Okay. Well, I didn't do a very good job there. Okay. I'm also going to cut this short. And that way it won't. Well, it's kind of actually not bad that it tucks under. Hmm. Okay. We're just going to leave it like that. I was going to cut it shorter, but... I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. Um, I want to leave this where it's a pocket and it's usable as a pocket. Um, so I need to measure this and I want to fold it in half. Maybe if I can, let's see if we can do it that way. Just Okay, so 
so we've got a journal now and I think I'm going to make this be in the front so that when you open it up the pockets right there and I'm going to leave that um, accordion thing loose there but I think I'm going to go ahead and glue it down back here and I'm going to um, I'm going to glue this down too well we're going to glue this for sure so let's do that let's do that I'm I should have probably kind of figured out a plan before I got on here but I didn't <laughs> Okay, I didn't put as much glue in there as I thought I did. Okay. Let me get some clips. these little heat clips that I have. I'm sorry. You have to wait while I fish around for clamps. But I didn't know I was going to do this. <laughs> go ahead and put glue under under here too I thought I might leave that kind of as a tuck but it's so shallow I don't think it would make a very good tuck All right, I'm going to let that sit a little bit. <coughs> While I think about what I want to do to decorate it. Don't have to do a whole lot. Um... It's going to be a, it's going to have to probably be, actually if I do that, I'm trying to think, it's probably going to be a fairly, um, just a little one signature thing, I'm thinking though, that I might want, um, to um, give it a little bit of a spine. Oh, 
Okay. So we'll do that a little bit on that side. And then a little bit on this side of the original. Okay. So now it has a little bit bigger of spine area. I think that'll work better. That will work better. We learn as we go. I was thinking I might want to, to um, put something on here that would stiffen this up. But it, in order to shut like that, it needs to be able to bend, I think. So... Okay, I think I want to put some paint on it, um, just because, uh, for one thing, it'll cover this up, and for another thing, it, um, it'll just be a background to whatever I put down. Maybe by the time I get this off of here, <laughs> I can take those clamps off and we can go ahead and, and paint. Okay. Okay, that seems pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do these just a little bit longer on this one. Okay. Let me gather some paint. Just going to use those for right now. And my water is icky. But luckily I have two jars of water, so I have a clean jar too. <laughs> Yay! I have a clean jar. <laughs> it was hot water when I put it in there, I guess. Okay, there we go. Can y'all tell everything's going just like I want it to today? <laughs> oh my. All right. I think I'm going to work on the cover outside first. So that can dry a little bit more. And let's find a brush. Here we go. I'm just going to put a little bit of color out here. Oh, 
Okay. And I'm just going to use a dry brush and I don't think I want to go all the way to the edges. Um, I'm not sure why I think that I don't want to go all the way to the edges, but I'm kind of thinking I don't want to go all the way to the edges. Um, maybe close and then ink what I didn't paint. That sounds good. Let's do that. <laughs> Make it look like we're... Um... All right, let's go ahead and take these off. Okay, I'm just going to let it kind of lightly go at the edges, I think. That way the ink will show up when I use it. Okay, but I want it to still be a mottled color, so this is kind of what it looks like right now. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to dry it and then we'll come back. Okay, while I was letting that dry, I decided um, that I am going to ink it and inside I'm just, I'm going to decorate this and put it right here as a, like a pocket. And so I'm not going to paint the inside, I'm just going to ink it. Um, so we need to decorate this and decorate the front and then we'll ink it all up. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that set aside for now, and let's work on this little pocket. Um, I'm gonna put some kind of something on it. Not sure what. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with these, but I like them. Um, I don't know. I should have come in with a plan. Um. Okay, I'm going to trim this. feel very blessed at the moment because I actually knew where this was. 
<laughs> oh boy. I'm actually, I think, going to do it right here. I wasn't planning to make it that small, but. Let's do it right here. Okay. I like that. I think that's pretty. Um, we w definitely want to ink these. I think I want to add a little something else, though. I'm not sure what. Maybe, maybe a bit of lace. I wonder if I put this more over here. I don't know. I was just, what I really wanted to do is just cover up that, um, this, <laughs> that little spot right there. And somehow that doesn't look like that's going to be what I need to do to do that. Okay. Let's get out some ink. And I'm going to ink it in this fern green. of a little grungy like let's do the it looks like it's got grass stains on it maybe that's good maybe that's <laughs> maybe that's what it needs is to look like it has grass stains on it I don't know it's a seed packet While I'm thinking about it, I need to go ahead and glue this down because we're going to use it as a pocket, not an envelope. There we go. And then we'll put this on there. I still feel like it needs something else, so I hate to go ahead and glue it down. Um, I think I'll ink this while I'm thinking. Move that out of the way so I don't knock it over and make a huge, 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 huge mess. totally different green can't decide if I want to put it together or not but let's go ahead and add some in it'll pull out a little bit of the texture of the paper which is cool okay so let's go over here and ink this too Okay, you can see the texture of the paper. Well, I'm not sure if you can or not. Um, 
Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus here. There you go. You can see the texture of the paper where I inked it. Um, I really like that showing through. I'm tempted to just go ahead and ink the whole thing because that looks so cool. Um, why not? Let's just do it. We'll do it lightly. Okay. All right. I think I'm happy with that. Um, wasn't what I thought I was going to do. <laughs> it's not what I thought I was going to do. But I like it. So this is definitely going to be a nature, a nature-y type journal here. Okay, and I'm going to let that ink kind of dry. Hmm. Oh, just realized this. <gasps> I left something uninked. Can't do that. That's enough ink. That's enough ink. Now then we're going to let it sit. And I'm going to um, figure out what kind of focal point I'm going to put on the front. And what kind of pages I'm going to put inside. And I'll be right back. Okay. This is where I am at the moment. I found these papers that I had taken out of a journal. I got at Dollar Tree. And I coffee dyed them and um, and so I'm going to use them in this journal I've got eight here I think yeah and that may be too many but if it's a writing journal and not necessarily you know not something you're going to put art in I think it'll be okay um I am going to have to trim the edges of these pages and that might cut off some of the pictures but um, so that's why I'm not a hundred percent sure if I want to put all of them in there I will have to trim off, you know, a little, tiny bit maybe of the, the little pictures that are, these pictures are animals that they made out of leaves and flowers and stuff, which I think are really cute. And so I think it'll look good in here. So, um, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and bind the journal and then I will um, come back in and trim it um, with a knife that way it'll be trimmed pretty even and then I can um, well I may not want to because these edges are square I was gonna say I can re re round the corners but I may not have to do that okay so let's um, first of all let's 
see if we can um let's go ahead and decorate well, it'll be easier to decorate before i put the pages in i'm sorry my brain's all over the place and i'm not i'm still not sure if i like what i've got here but i thought it'd be fun to just put one of these on here kind of crooked like that and then add this flower at the top for the cover it'd be real simple but i think the flower will really show up on the background um i started to ink this and i think i will i was gonna say but it it kind of made it the made me feel like it would disappear but actually i don't think i want it to be um quite as um i want it to disappear a little bit i want the leaves to show up so i don't want to ink over the whole thing but oh yeah yeah that's better and i'm going to leave the flower stark white okay let's just do it <laughs> let's just do it this video is taking a lot longer than i intended for it to do but that seems to be the way it goes Okay. Let's just put that right down like that. And then we'll add this flower. Whoops. Okay, Lisa. Anyway, I thought this might be a fun journal to just keep some gardening, um, maybe notes on your garden or something in. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to make it. Okay, and then we're going to put this right there, and I'm just going to do it on three sides. Now, I had this little flower that's another poppy that I thought might be fun to just put right here um, just to cover up that. And I don't know that it goes, but it feels good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and put it down there. Okay. So I like that. Now then, to um, to bind it.
Okay. I'm going to just take my awl and I'm going to just do three holes. It'll be a very simple binding. And I'm going to use this coffee dyed thread. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. And now we need a needle. There we go. And we're going to start right up here at the top in case we we'll want to put some beads or something on it. Back out through the middle. And then we will tie it right up here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and tie it a third time just to be just to be secure. Okay. Now we've got a journal. We just need to trim off the edges. And so I need a cutting mat. this up so I can have some space to work I'll put this up get that out of the way move all of these Okay. Now then. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, that's why I was looking for my little cutting mat, the little skinny one I've got. That, um, oh, here it is. This is what I was looking for. That way I can leave this. Um, laying down right. And my cutter. Let's see. Yeah, I think that should work. Okay.
Okay. I kind of messed it up here. What happens when you're left hand and you're trying to cut with your right hand? So we're going to turn it around and try to straighten it up. <laughs> Okay, it's not too bad. Oh man. <laughs> okay, see? I'm just not I'm not good at straight. Good grief. I should have I should have cut this part off the video, but I'm too real to do that. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, let's just try to clean it up looking at the paper and not a ruler. Okay. Now that's definitely not perfect, but um, but it didn't take a, oh, the poor little mouse lost its head. See? <laughs> okay. Well, oh. No, nope, that's not helping. It shifts when I lay it down. Then when I pick it up, it shifts again. Okay, well, that's a little better. Definitely not perfect. Definitely not perfect, but cute nonetheless. Let's give it a string.
There we go. Now then, it's got a string. I, I think it's cute, even though it's the pages got cut more than I wanted them to. And when it's open, it looks like I cut them too much. But when it's closed, um, it's just about perfect as far as that goes. If they were perfectly straight, I'd be perfectly happy. <laughs> oh, but that's the way it goes. If you lasted this long, God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.